Hey guys, Tim Janik here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a really great way to get the hamstring, the glute, and the low back to activate it in a, in a good order. This is also really good for your low back. It's a great movement and it's a very gentle movement that you can do if, even if your back is feeling tight. You can do this movement. It's good to do uh, before a workout exercise and also after exercise, after workout exercise. So here's how it goes. Arms laid out to the side, everything nice and relaxed, one leg up, and all you're gonna do is lift your hip up, and you're gonna just lift up one vertebrae, acting like you're lifting up one vertebrae at a time. So I lift, that time I lifted up the lower vertebrae here, okay? And then I'm gonna come back down, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna just lift all the way back up, go up a little bit higher up the spine, and then come right back down. Okay, you're gonna continue doing this until you get all the way up the spine. Now I'm going up a little bit further. You can see my hip is coming higher up off the ground, coming right back down, and then do it again. So this one's gonna go up even higher. I'm gonna go almost all the way up to my shoulders, just like that. You can see where my hip is, it's starting to open up. When you're doing this, you can see that it's gonna activate hamstring, glute, and the low back. It's also going to help open up the hip flexor. Okay, and then I'm gonna come right back down. And in this time, I'm gonna raise my arm up to this position here. I'm gonna lift the hip up. And this time, I'm gonna roll almost all the way completely over, just like that. And then come right back down to the ground, just like that, okay? So you can do about 10 to 20 repetitions on one side, switch, do 10 to 20 repetitions on the other side. Like I said, this is really good pre-event, uh, pre-workout, post-workout, or even if your back is just feeling tight, it'll help thing, get things organized and situated for you.